Hey guys, what's going on? I touch stuff here that's spelt with a zero or Kieran from SingTech, whatever you'd like to call me. And today I have a pretty cool video for you guys showing you guys how to um, get back some of your default sources that you might have accidentally removed or for some reason CDA didn't come with a source that should have been defaulted with the application. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because a user who was watching one of my videos needed the Mod My Eyes source and they did not have it and it should be one of the default sources but apparently for some reason um, it was not uh, in their sources so I'm going to show you guys how to get some of the default sources back it's pretty simple you will need iFile so if you want iFile for free check out my video link will be down below to go check that video out or you can click the annotation on the video right now so um, basically I'm just gonna give you a quick demo in Cydia so your sources will be located in manage sources and your default sources should be the one down below not under entered by user but under install by package which means they came with Cydia. So these are the big boss mod my eye repo 666 which is yellow snow um, the telesphere which is the Cydia um, source or Sorex source and the ZOD TTD and Mac City source. So these are the main sources that you'll be getting with your device um, once it's jailbroken has Cydia. So say you're missing one of these to so say like the user who commented on my video was missing mod my eye you're going to need to go into iFile, which I will do right now. And here we go. I'm in iFile. I'm going to navigate all the way back to the first directory for you guys so I can show you how to get to the directory that I was just in. So once you're in the backslash directory, which is furthest back, you want to click on etc, which is should be highlighted in blue. And then from there, click on apt, apt, and then click on sources.list.d. So basically this is the same directory where if you watch or if you watch my previous video on how to remove unreliable Cydia sources, this is basically the directory or folder that contains all of your sources. So this will contain your sources that you've manually added, which will be in Cydia.list. So if you click on that, you'll see the sources that you've manually added, which I have added Haculo, XLI, Simple iPhone some of the the basic stuff and then all the rest will be the default sources which aren't included in city.list and they're just packages on their own so say you're missing modmyi.com.list I'm not going to go ahead and delete this just in case um, something happens that I don't want to happen and then have to go through a whole restore or something like that so basically just pretend that you don't have the mod my eye source well most likely if you're watching this video you won't have it or the big boss or something you want to go ahead and click edit in the upper right hand corner and then in the bottom left hand corner let me scroll down here for you guys click the plus sign once that plus sign is clicked what you want to do under attributes click type and then click regular file now go back and in the name you want to type mod my eye dot com sorry com dot list dot list will make this a text editable file so make sure you have dot list at the end um, mod my eye dot com dot list is only for the mod my eye source um, I'm gonna go ahead and click create here and if you oh well yeah it won't create because I already have this so I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick edit to this and just remove the dot com and click create and if you have the big boss source it will be under or the source um, name that you'll be adding is big boss dot list um, and if you have the Soric that is missing which is the telesphero you need to type in Soric dot list s-a-u-r-i-k if you're missing the repo 666 or the yellow snow you'll type in yellow sn zero w dot com dot list and if you're missing zottd and max city you'll type in zodttd dot list so basically now that you've created your text file you want to go ahead and add the source so what you want to do click on your new text file that should say one of the following mod my eye dot com dot list and so on and so forth in the upper right hand corner hit edit and then click on the screen which should bring up a keyboard and you want to type in DEB make sure that this is all lowercase so undo the uh, caps right here DEB space and then you want to type in your following um, default source that you're missing so in this case it's HTTP colon backslash backslash apt dot mod my eye 
dot com backslash stable main. So this is what you're going to be putting in right here. And once you click save and then click done, this will now be the equivalent of as if you had the default source from the beginning. So it would be the equivalent of modmyi.com.list. And if you click on the actual file here, you'll see this is exactly what we added, debhttp colon backslash backslash app.modmyi.com backslash stable main. So um, you can also, the reason why I didn't have you add all this text is basically what this text is, is just telling you in case you're trying to edit this package, don't edit it because it's important um, to Cydia and getting packages and stuff like that. And since it's a default source, not to remove it um, through this method. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. Again, you don't need to add any, any of those um, lines of text that you just saw in the uh, actual modmyi.com.list. Also, if you're editing the bigboss.list, I will have down below all of the stuff that you'll need to add for each um, file. Basically, it's just going to consist of deb in the beginning, and then a space, and then http, and then the sources link, which will be similar to one of Mod My Eye, but if you're missing Big Boss, don't add the one that I just showed you in Mod My Eye, because it will just give you the Mod My Eye source and not Big Boss. Um, also, uh, basically, well, actually, that's all I have to say. So, basically, you can go ahead, open up Cydia now. Again, I didn't remove my Mod My Eye source, just because I didn't want to go through the trouble of doing that, but once that is all done you can go ahead open up Cydia and if you look under manage once Cydia is done reloading manage and then click sources you should have under install by package uh, modmyi.com or big boss repo 666 telesphero or zod ttd so guys it's been itouch stuff spelt with a zero or kieran from sync tech whatever you like to call me Please subscribe to my channel, really helps me out. Please like this video, also really helps me out. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts if you have any, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.